We move now to race number six of our Sha Tin Sunday preview. It's a class three over the 1600 metres. And congratulations, where's the blinkers again? And a tongue tie for the first time. Cofield's out of the classic mile back to class three. Charity Grace to the 1600 for his first look. Prime Minister draws 14 again, but he did win from this barrier three starts ago. Majestic Victory carries an extra seven pounds for his win on the 20th of February. Zoom Boom, an extra four for the placing behind Majestic Victory. A la King's done his best racing so far in class four and at Happy Valley. And let's do it. Tom goes from the 1400 up to the 1600. Yeah, the speed in this race, uh, probably on the, the slow side. Although with Super Willie can uh, tear along in front. Uh, Zoom Boom is uh, drawn in barrier seven, so he shouldn't be too far away. Uh, Perfect to Great was up outside the leader last start to Paul, but was uh, gone at about the 300. Yeah, he was, wasn't he? So we'll see where he ends up. Arlo King's another one that likes to go forward, so he might try and push on from his uh, draw. Majestic Victory did win nicely enough on the yielding track last time. Uh, and uh, then back to Prime Minister, who's drawn wide, I think he'll get, go to the back. It was a yielding track for Majestic Victory, as you said, Paul. He was also 44 to 1, and we've got Zoom Boom, who runs second, Prime Minister sixth, and entrusted down the field. Yeah, so again, there's an asterisk on this form line. I, look, I, I'm going to go put Zoom Boom in, though, because he is a horse that seems to be uh, improving all the time, and he is, uh, you know, like subject to improve when, with just the three starts. So, look, he goes in, he doesn't go in on top, but I'll uh, put Zoom Boom of these ones in. Yeah, he's certainly in. Um, I'm not sure about Majestic Victory, really, because he just had a, such a good run in transit. He was able to get that gap uh, through one off and uh, win. But gate 11 is going to make it a lot trickier for him this time round. I feel. Running glory. Uh, Tom went into his last start looking for three in a row. He was shuffled back and he was forced wide, turning for home. He's made up many, many links and he steps up in trip. He, he does, and he's one of the main players in this race, uh, Running Glory. Uh, he's not an overly big, robust horse, but he's definitely got plenty of ability. Two wins from his five starts now, and he was seen making good ground here last start, Paul. Yeah, it was a really good run, I thought, from him. And, and the, the, the prior two runs, and he had no luck. Any sort of luck, he, he could be he had three in a row. So, look, he's definitely... He came out of a strong form race with Sylvester winning as well. So, look, he's definitely uh, in for me. I've got him on top. Nothing impossible. Paul appreciated the downgrade at Happy Valley last time. The grain, he's bolted in. He's back up in class, but Zach is sticking with him. He is. Uh, look, it was a nice nice uh, win from this horse. He'd trial well previously. Uh, he'd had no form leading into this race, in, in, this, in this grade, funny enough. But look, he's going well at the moment. And the way he won this, there's no reason why he can't win in class three from a low draw. So he goes in on a minor line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kept him safe here as well. Uh, Zach just did what he best uh, did best at, at Happy Valley again last to start with him. Uh, took off, uh, didn't take off at 100 miles an hour, but just crept around the field and then in the end was too strong at the, the post. We need your selections, please, Paul. Yes, um, I'm going to go with Running Glory. I just really I like uh, the way that he, he's been racing and he was really unlucky last time. He could easily have won three in a row. Uh, Zoom Boom, I think he's improver. He's... Uh, only had the three starts to date, and um, like he was on the all weather. It was on the sorry, not all weather on the yielding track. But I think he's an improvement. Uh, the favourite charity, Grace, uh, he goes in as well. Uh, I thought he's been running really well recently. He's one of the main chances, <laughs> and nothing impossible in there for fourth. Seven, nine, three, and eleven. Yeah, I've gone with Charity Grace. He's the belly runner, but uh, there's only uh, loose change in the uh, in the uh, the pool at the moment. Change down the back of the couch, you could uh, call it here. He's at 2.7, so he'll drift out. Uh, running glory, nothing impossible, and zoom, boom. 3, 7, 11 and 9, he says. Paul's just about jumping out of the chair, hoping that he doesn't <laughs> drift out. That's the preview for race number six.